Welcome to this lesson on converting rational numbers. Please be sure you have these notes in front of you so that we can begin our lesson. This lesson has three different learning objectives. The first one says I can convert a decimal to a fraction. The second one says I can convert a fraction to a decimal. And the third one says I can convert a mixed number to a decimal. Our first key concepts will be discussing how to convert decimals to fractions. One thing that you might want to take note of is this place value chart that I've given you because you want to refer to the place values behind the decimals. So that's why I'm underlining behind the decimals. So let's refer to that as we convert decimals to fractions. If you are given a decimal, the first thing you want to do to convert that decimal to a fraction is to create a fraction and place the numbers behind the decimal point as your numerator. So for example, if I'm given this decimal right here, 0.25, I want to take a look at the numbers behind the decimal and ignore everything in front of it. So 25 would be my numerator because that is the number behind the decimals. Once you do that, you want to look at the place value behind the decimal point. So for example, in this problem right here, the place value behind the decimal point is in the hundredths spot. That given place value is my denominator. So since it's my hundredth spot, I'm going to place it 100 on the bottom that becomes my denominator. And then finally, we should reduce our fraction. So if I reduce 25 over 100, I can reduce that by dividing the top and bottom by 25, I can get 1 fourth. So let's use these steps to solve the following examples. So for example number one, it says to convert this decimal, 75 hundredths, into a fraction. The first thing I want to do is I want to take note as the numbers behind the decimal and I've got a 75. So I'm going to take that number behind the decimal and place that as my numerator. Then I want to look at my place value itself. So the numbers behind the decimal are in the place value of the hundredths. So you can refer to that chart on our uh, key concept sheet. It's in the hundred spot, so the hundred will be my denominator. Now I need to make sure I reduce, so let's divide the top and bottom by 25. The top becomes 3, and the bottom becomes 4. So all I, all I did was I converted my decimal into a fraction. We know that 3 fourths is equal to 75 hundredths. For example, 2, it's asking me to convert this decimal into a fraction. So the difference with this one is now that it has a whole number. We're still going to do the same exact steps that we did before. So let's take a look at the number behind the decimal spot. And that is my numerator. So 8 becomes my numerator. And I'm going to ignore the whole number for now. So let's ignore it. The whole number for now. We know that the 8 is in the tenths place. So the denominator has to be 10. So let's go ahead and reduce top and bottom by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I got 4 fifths, but I have to remember to go back and bring down my whole number. So my answer becomes 1 and 4 fifths. So I just converted that decimal into a fraction. I know that 1 and 4 fifths is equal to 1 and 8 tenths. So pause the video, complete these got it problems, and then play it back for some feedback. Now we're going to talk about how to convert fractions to decimals. So when you're given a fraction, look at the denominator and ask yourself, how can you make the denominator into 100? So the first thing is to turn the denominator into 100. Our second step is to multiply the numerator by the same number that you multiplied the denominator by. And then finally, our last step is to place a decimal in front of the numerator. So for example, if I had 4 over 5, and I wanted to make the bottom into 100, let's multiply the bottom by 20, and we have to multiply the top by 20. So I know that the top is going to be 80, and the bottom is going to be 100. Now that it made the bottom number 100, let's put a decimal point in front of our numerator, so my decimal would be 8 tenths. If you cannot use that method because you can't make your denominator into 100, then the next method that you would use is the in and out method. And this method will always work. 
So for example three, it's asking us to convert three-fifths into a decimal. If I think back to the key concepts, they told me to either use in and out or make the bottom number into 100. And I can do that in this case. So I can multiply 5 times 20. But if I do that to the bottom, I need to make sure I do that to the top. The reason why I chose 20 is because 5 times 20 equals 100. And that was the goal, to get 100 on the bottom. Now I can multiply 3 times 20. That becomes 60. And now I can just place my numerator with a decimal in front of it. So I know that 3 over 5 is equal to 6 tenths. So the decimal would be 6 tenths. Or you can say 60 hundredths. So for example 4, it's asking me to convert the fraction 7 eighths into a decimal. The problem with this one is that we can't make 8 look like 100. So we cannot make 8 Cannot make 8 look like 100. So the next thing we should do is just use in and out. So 8 becomes the out, 7 becomes the in. We should add a decimal and add a 0. So I know I should just bring my decimal up automatically so I don't forget about it. 8 cannot go into 7, but 8 can go into 70 8 times. And that becomes 64. Let's subtract. We need a borrow. That becomes a 6. 10 minus 4 is 6. Let's add another 0 and drop it down. 8 goes into 60 7 times, which becomes 56. Let's subtract. We need a borrow again. 10 minus 6 is 4. Drop down one more 0. And 8 goes into 40 5 times. So we know that our decimal is equal to 0.875 which is the same as 7 over 8. So pause the video, complete these guided problems, and then play it back for some feedback. So for example 5, it's asking me to convert this mixed number into a decimal. What I want to do first is let's go ahead and ignore the whole number of 13. Let's ignore that for now. And we'll come back to it after. And I, w I just want to take a look at my fraction. Let's make the bottom number into a 100. So I'm going to multiply that by 25. And if I do that to the bottom, let's do that to the top. So my new fraction becomes 25 over 100. Now that I made the bottom into 100, let's just place a decimal spot in front of the numerator, which is 0.25. And let's drop down our whole number. So my decimal would be 13 and 25 hundredths. So we know that 13 and 25 hundredths is equal to 13 and one fourth. So pause the video, complete these guided problems, and then play it back for some feedback. So now that you've completed this lesson, go ahead and self-assess yourself. If there's some part of this video that you do not understand, please go back and watch it again, and come to class with some questions so that we can discuss anything that you are confused on.